Drop and scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Drop. Two. Scratch. Two. Cut. Each arm I have cut. I scoop this up. I'm using my head as a shovel. I'll release. As you start hooking and starting to turn, there's only one way you can turn, and that's that way. Because I've blocked this. Really hard to turn. So she turns. Can't go that way. Use that way. And catch on that side. <coughs> we'll, we'll tidy the juju up there. Because there's, there's different rules to the juju rock. Just catch, catch, catch. Drop. Scoop. Roll. Okay, guys, all yours. Exactly. We're all okay with great. Catch, 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 catch. Drop, scoop, catch. Which is from there on what he does. He pushes down when he comes in off his bit. He pushes down through his hips. So if, if you don't push down with hips, then you're going to get too much space there. Isn't that so what he does, he pushes down through his hips when he comes in. So he's pushing, he's pushing so through his hips. You roll up there. So he's still pushing with his hips, still pushing with his hips, that's why you haven't got the gap between the arm and him. If you don't push through your hips, you're going to lose the arm. So he's stretched it, and as he starts to turn there, I can look at the outfit. Is this arm now is already up around his bicep? Because I know I'm not going to hold him because he's a bit of a beast. Oh, and my hips are driving in. Now he's driving, now he's got no space for him to get the arm out at all. If he's ripped up tight, I'll leave a little bit of space, but as he rolls now, is to keep it tight. What I'm trying to do, if we need to have referee one of this, I'm actually trying to do this. I'm not guided, my arm is all the way through. And the tighter you do, the more it's going to hurt him, because what I'm going to do is when I switch, I'll take all the power and back tomorrow, because I try and pull his arm out of the socket. <coughs> okay. It just makes it. It's the catch. It's what we need to say. It's the catch. Hey, it's a it's good problem. It's with that. It's rolling. I've missed the arm up this side. I've scooped it up. I'm more or less right around his bicep. Most people come up. If I come up, I'll lose it. Because it'll come loose. From here, I can either come back for a pin. I can put the juju. Take a little bit of weight off. And he's now on his side. So <coughs> we, the guys are there, what we were just talking about, wasn't it? And if I try it from flat, it's really hard. Plus he can't get out anyway. As he turns, comes up. Just come on the <coughs> You catch it. Okay guys, all the other six. Really through bicep. We call it. <laughs> you can look up because I forget. I've just been doing things there that I keep forgetting what I do. <laughs> you scoop it, yeah? Of course. If I'm in Tati Show, it's really hard to escape. If he starts to turn, he's got slow switch hands. Can't catch this. Stretch him out. That becomes quite unpleasant. But that's not working. I'm automatically starting now to start moving this leg either up. But that's more of a feel thing. That, that, that's me, I'm starting to decide what I'm doing with this. We can do different things with it, but we'll stick to the easy stuff to start with. Because there, as it starts to turn, I've missed that, so there, I've released that. All I've done now, if, if I can't get the arm back from there, is I'll release his arm, and as he turns, rather than leaving this leg there, because I don't know what he's going to do, because he's a bit of a slippery fish, I automatically shove it under his back. Yeah? Because there's a lot of this. With my knee now, he's under his back. So it's hard for him to come back. So I know if he comes back, I'm going to end up going this way. And it starts making life. We end up back where we've started. So if we come back here, I've then got this. He's coming up He's there. I'll then start catching it. Coming back. So now as he's rolling, this knee's gone under his back. So it puts the brakes on. When I come round, I'll take my own lapel. Because it's easier for me. I don't know if you guys take your lapel, but I, I just find it's very old-fashioned, but it works really well. It will make life easier because I want him to love me later. 
is I'm just going to put my hand on his shoulder. And when I come round, he's a port 45 degrees. And I'm trying to pull his arm out. If he's gripped up, <coughs> I've just found now, some cross the feet. I used to cross my feet, but now I tend to leave them dangling a little bit. It's a bit of a beast and it's not coming out. So what I do is I just release. If you start high and you're a pole to start with, you can always go down. It's really hard to come back up because it's a bit of a strong, strong unit. Because I'll slide down a little bit and I'll just bring this leg over the top and pull it down. Okay? I oh, used to have some. Just depends how the grip. I've come down quite low now. Then I come over the top. And I just push down. He can roll me up. And I can roll him back. And I can also come back. But I've just found that, that if I just turn sideways, that can catch from here. And that kills that hand. Okay? It's slightly moving on a little bit. They use you. And then uh, you can see. <coughs> There is something we did over there because we were a biggish guy and he was zipping up for a time. <coughs> well, still something. But it's catch, 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 Drop, scoop, catch, roll, comes round, juju. I like to catch it from here because he's up, I'm down. It's lighter on my back. We'll stick to what we've just done because I'm jumping the. Bring the bin a bit. From there now, as I just bring this leg over the top. Oh, sorry, Chris. <laughs> I just <laughs> I'll leave that leg off because I don't need it. It's good to help you. I just bring this leg over the top and I just squeeze down. That's what his arms are. All yours. <laughs> <laughs>